everybody, it's your boy Q, you know who and I am. Back with another video, whoa, man, I'm about to flow. It's Saturday, what a beautiful day. It's your boy Q and I'm on my hay way to the car wash. Man, I just said it, I came down, man, pumping unlit. Me, 93, hands on my sneeze. It's your boy Q, got red, looking clean. On a dang crisp, man, I'm about to brisk. That is a walk, do 30 minutes a day. Keep your heart pumping, man, stay. Keep the doctors away. <laughs> but anyway, what's up everybody, man? It's your boy Q. You know who think is I'm kicking it with me today, man. So this is actually, so you seen my last video when I got my windows tinted. Look at that, super dark, by the way. Um, I, this same day, so I'm doing another video, man. So actually today, we're gonna be replacing these mirror caps. Boom, right there. So I actually ordered those, the ones I got off of eBay. And I'll go ahead and show y'all what it looks like. So excuse, I already been kind of working. So um, here it is here, Come on. there it is, boom. Here right there, and this was, I got a pair, a set for $75, I taxed $81 um, is what I got. So we're gonna be putting this on today. And what you need is one of these, a panel popper thingy. <laughs> I always call them panel popper thingies. So there's two ways to do this. One way is you can remove the whole mirror. The other way is you could just take out the back cap here, which is what this is for. And that is what I'm going to do. I already did the other side over there uh, just to practice for you. I did it and I actually did break one of the clips on the OEM one. It, a lot of people said that happened when I researched that it's just one of them breaks. It's hard to get one of them off and I actually cut my freaking finger. So I can see here too, but I don't know how I did that. That's how I wear gloves in my videos. But so we're going to go ahead and pop this one off. The easy way to do it is to get a flat end. You're going to need flat. I tried to use another end like this a curved end but it didn't work make sure it's flat works the best but let's go ahead show y'all how to do it it's not too hard you just got to get them freaking clamps to pop out but here we go i'm gonna be using my mouthpiece to give y'all a better view i tried to use my head strap it just wasn't a good view so i won't be able to do a lot of talking because i'm gonna have it in my mouth but y'all can probably see what i'm gonna be doing so let's go Cool. Nope. Got to get this side off. There we go. Got this side. And just pull. Come on. Dude. Okay. That side over there is still in there. So. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see. Get this off. There we go. Ooh. And yep. Three. That time I broke two of the clamps. This one down here and that one. Just like that, man, it's off. Pretty easy. Like I said, you're probably gonna break this. <laughs> I broke two of them, so it's just what it is, but I'd rather break that plastic than breaking my glass mirror. Just my opinion. Now I just go get my new one. Pretty easy clip on and they are labeled. So this one has, I saw it on here somewhere. RH right there, uh, RH as you can see, boom, right there, which means right side. So if you're driving on the right side, so yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So we're just gonna take it, line it up. <clears throat> Make sure it goes over that black tab right there. I messed up last time. Make sure it goes over. You're gonna take it, line it up, and just push it on. So see, line it up, it snaps. Oops, I don't know here. And that's it. Oh. It is on. Now, my truck is super dirty, so don't worry about the colors not looking like it's supposed to. This is just very clean right now. And my truck is very dirty. But you can see here it kind of matches. But that's it. Mirror caps are on, man. I already did the other side as I can say. So what I'm about to do now. I probably was just trash these. I don't even think they're good anymore. Now I'm about to go ahead and go wash the truck, clean it up because it's filthy. Supposed to have a few days of nice weather before it rains again. But yeah, pretty easy, simple job. I'll put these in the comments below where I got them from. Um, in the description, I mean. So y'all can check them out if you want you a pair. Uh, I don't know, they might be a little darker than what I thought in my truck, man. 
What y'all think? Let me see. No, it's a good blend. It's just the shade and everything like that. But anyway, look at that tent though, man. Oof, oof. Oh, you can't really even see through the back anymore. You can see my reflection in the front. You can still see, which is kind of good. I don't want to be bothering the cops. But anyway, let's go get red cleaned up, man. Y'all, I do want to show y'all something. You know, we talked about in one of my videos about do you always carry a knife? So actually for Christmas, one of my Christmas gifts, when y'all know we went to Louisiana, uh, one of the Christmas gifts I was given was this like, like kind of like a little survival type kit, but comes with a flashlight. I don't want to, so that probably messes up the camera big time. Let me check. So it comes with a flashlight. I don't know, how does that look in the camera? Oh, okay, not bad. So it comes with a flashlight and you can actually like strobe it. So you can go high, low, and then you can strobe it. So like, not sure if you all know, I have to show y'all there, I don't wanna blind y'all, but like this can be a very good like deterrent, deterrent, whatever you wanna call it for like criminals. Like, cause if you have a license to carry, you know you can't always just shoot somebody because they're bugging you or being aggressive towards you. You have to like be fearing your life. So uh, you have to have probable cause to kill somebody. You can't just shoot them because some guy was arguing with you, you know? So like stuff like this, like flashlights, can be a good intermediate tool to kind of help you uh, like get out of situations because as a uh, likes to carry owner anyway, your um, primary responsibility is to, sh you should try to escape a situation. You shouldn't go into it unless you like have to. So these are good like deterrents just for people who like might be bugging you, a guy trying to fight you or whatever, just something like this. And also I got a knife. So it's a huge knife <laughs> this thing is big. So I'm not sure how, um, hand like how, you can carry it in your pocket, but it has like, I'm scared to even touch this thing. So it has a blade and it's a very sharp ass blade, by the way, it's huge. So here's your blade right here, go ahead, open it. Look at that, you can do some damage with this. So it has a blade, it has a, uh, like a saw type thing. It has a screwdriver and then it has a bottle opener on here as well, bottle opener. And it also has a, um, what was this? It was one more thing, like ply grip. There we go, like pliers, so like that. Yeah, so like a needle nose type thing, something like that. How do you open it actually? Oh, there you go. So you just open it like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I got this for Christmas. I know we talked about having a knife and I'm trying not to look foolish doing this because this thing is big and it's kind of scary. I'm gonna be honest with you, this thing is freaking huge, man. So anyway, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to bring that up. So I do have a knife now that I carry, or I have a knife with me. Um, yeah, this thing is, how do you, how do you put this thing back down? Okay, there we go, boom. So pretty cool, pretty cool color, nice weight to it. So you probably can bop somebody with this too, but yeah, good little surviving kit, you know, um, if you're interested, but uh, this is a Killer Man. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see if we can get the camera. Killer, Killer, Manjaro, something like that. If you want it, if you're interested, there you go. And like all this came together, so pretty cool. And it also came with like a case. So if you're interested, so now I am carrying a knife. Still not one in my pocket, but I still have a knife. Guys, so red is all cleaned up. Go ahead, give y'all a look. Boom. Yeah, man. That tent looks super dark. It looks good. Prefer it that way. The red caps look good. They do match. They're off just a tad. Can't really tell unless you're staring at the truck, but. So this is my man, Kevin. So we just ran to each other at the car wash. And this is his wife, Mercedes. So he was actually just showing me uh, this 2014, super clean. And uh, yeah, he said he bought it to a fella. So he bought it, he bought it for him for Valentine's Day, man. So y'all gotta step y'all game up. He bought a whole car for Valentine's Day. But he did say his wife bought him a Camaro SS for Father's Day, so they, they took care of each other, but this thing is super clean for 2014. Look at that, polished wheels. You can come be in the video if you want to. You ain't got to hide for the camera. Yeah, yeah. I said, you can be in the video if you want to. Hey, all right, hey. Yeah. Like you do what you do, man. Huh? Like you do what you do. So this Kevin, man, we ran to each other car. Why'd you say what's up to the people? Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> so we, I was just telling you, you bought this for your car. I told them they got to step their game up, man, for, uh, for Valentine's Day. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> you might have to open it? Hey. Go right here. All right, so we're gonna open it up 20. Ooh, luxury. Of course you go get a luxury with a Mercedes, man. I mean, that's just what it is. I don't wanna show y'all too much of the car, but look at that. Sunroof, of course, leather seats, all that. But 
It's clean. You make it hard for anybody want to even think about it. You say, <laughs> you anybody Look, think she gonna be like, you buy me a car for Valentine's Day? <laughs> if not, keep moving. Hey, you make it hard, man. It can't be replaced. <laughs> right, exactly. But that was super clean. He's been watching it for a while. So you see, you gotta go get his Camaro as well as his work truck. He gotta come back and watch. So he got a long day ahead of him, man. This guy, gentleman back here, got a nice uh, Chevy. Sounds good, too. Uh, he's lifted. I don't know if sure tired, but I'm letting him work. He's working, so I'm letting let him keep working on that one. I'm a little disappointed that they don't match. They really don't. So here to here, you can you can tell. Look at that shot right there. These are darker. So I'm going to go back online and look and see if they had another color. But these were supposed to be ruby red for the Ford F-150 because I don't think there's any other color. You get a bright, fierce red with the F-150, and you get a ruby red like this one. So I'm not sure what color this supposed to be ruby red but that's what happens when you go after market you know what i'm saying but uh let me see from a distance i'm gonna notice it because i put it on there now anybody else may not notice it like from this angle you can't notice it and from here you can kind of notice it but again i'm gonna be a stickler for it because i know it's there so anyway what's up guys so this is a quick update on this whole uh my mirror cap things so as you saw in the video or i noticed at the time that Whew, had a long night last night, sorry. So it's been about a week and a half, two weeks now since I installed the mirror caps. I noticed that they don't really match the paint of my truck, like exactly. So I reached out to the company and, you know, sent some pictures and they were like, okay, cool. Um, we'll send you another set. As long as you send back the set we sent you. Um, I'm like, okay, I can do that. You know, I took them off and them back. But my concern is when you take those mirror caps off, you're likely gonna break one of the clips. Like, it's just hard. Probably gonna break it. So I thought I told them I needed a fierce red combination or color. So they sent them here and that's what I'm carrying right here. But honestly, I don't think they're the right color either. I think they're gonna be too bright. So I'm walking out to the truck right now to see if they match up. I love the new tent. To be honest with you, the new tent is dope. Changed the whole look of the truck. Um, yeah, so you probably can see the mirror caps don't really match. It's hard to tell sometimes until you really pay attention. All right, so these are the new ones. Yeah, it's gonna be too too red. So y'all, it probably looks okay on camera. I'm trying to get some sunlight so y'all can really see it. Maybe y'all can see it now. See that? Yeah, no, nah, that's way off. So that's not gonna work. Gonna look crazy. So these are race red, and these are the ruby. So this, I mean, when you buy them out the market like this, it's just probably hard to match this color without getting it directly painted. So I'm probably just gonna leave these on. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. I'm just leave these on here and send these back to the company because yeah, it's not, that doesn't look right at all. Dang it, unfortunately. But I linked these while I got these below. I know they had like some, I, I really hate that I threw away my OEM caps, man. I, I threw them away. I put them in the trash. Some told me to keep them, but dummy threw them away. So if you do this, don't throw away your original OEM mirror caps. Just don't do that. So now I'm kind of stuck with these, to be honest with you. But yeah, maybe I can get some black ones online. Black gloss. I don't want black gloss though. Yeah, I, not with my paint color and how I got it. But I'll stick with these now. And yeah, see y'all next one. Peace.